Okay. Go for it, Jake. All right. Well, they said not to go through a sample deployment, so I'm going to just try to touch on everything a little bit. So most of this is going to be question and answer driven. So I'll go and give a brief overview, and then just feel free just to we'll just hit it for questions. This is the new CRT. This is the login page. It can be found at configs.itmblink.com. Is that a temporary or permanent URL? Um, probably permanent. I don't really see a need in changing it right now. It does what it needs to do. Um, this will be the last. If we ever create a new version of the CRT, it won't be web-based. It won't be a web application anymore. If we get any more complex than this, we're going to go into an actual full-blown Windows app. Um, the main reason for creating a whole new CRT was adding features to the last one was becoming too much of a hassle due to the way it was coded and the fact that we couldn't do a single context per customer, uh, meaning that it wasn't broken up so different people could have the same extension numbers. We'd have customers with extensions 32, 34, and then another place where their extensions were like 7,000, 562 through 7,564 because they couldn't overlap. Um, so one of the main reasons for making this was to break it all up and create separate contexts per customer so now everyone can have the same have similar extension numbers without them overlapping. So we can have so extension 100, 101, 102 for each customer. Um, also, now that it's in this build, everything's broken up into different modules, server side. So adding a feature doesn't require massive rework, just a tiny bit of work to that individual module. So as of right now, there's only a few key changes that we will visibly be able to see, but adding anything in the future will take an hour or two versus a week. All right, so let's get into it. This is the login page. We'll be provisioning usernames and passwords for everyone later this week. This is the main drop-off page. It's very simple. Sizing's a little off due to the projector. But uh, from here, all you can do really is create a customer or choose an existing one. All of our customers will be in this list. Currently, there's only Stolfing Law and a sandbox I use for testing. So from here, when we first log in, nobody, no customer has been selected. Just ignore that right now. Can't tell which screen I should look at, the big one or the little one. Um, once a customer has been selected, everything from the beginning revolves around adding their actual bids, their direct inward dives. It's all separate. So we see just in this list for Stolfing, they have one bid. We can add notes that can be accessed from other pages if we want to put a note that says this is the main bid that brings their announcement and then gets handed off, or this is the direct dial to a certain person, that sort of thing. From there, once we have bid centered for as many as they want for that, we set their inbound routes. And what this does is say what happens when a call to that number hits our server. Now we can edit that to be anything, so from that list, we can see if someone dials, these are the current settings, but the new settings, we can say if someone dials that number, we can tell it to go directly to one of their extensions, either of those, or we can actually tell it to go to an announcement, a ring group, directly to a voicemail, IDR, just hang up, whatever we want to do. So from there, if we, every feature now, has a similar feature like this, where you can always choose what happens next. So from here, we tell it, it's already been told that we need to go to an announcement, and the announcement number is 200. If we were to take a look at announcements, we can see that number 200 is their main ingredient, and after it plays, we want it to head to the ring group of number 300. That, of course, could also be changed. What is reporting 600? What does it mean? We have, if we were to take a look at announcements, we 
see that as recording number 600? That's the extension number. Okay. Everything has an extension number. You could directly dial, if you were in that customer's context, and dialed 600, you would just hear the announcement. Um, gotcha. It's recording number 600. Now, the neat thing about this is it breaks up all the different modules. So we have recordings. Here's number 600. Can't hear. But it's playing. It plays the extension, or the uh, recording. And then it gives you the edit extension. That's what you would dial from inside the customer's context to change that recording, to make edits. That would be the password. And this is just a simple name that the customer doesn't see, but it lets us know what this recording is about. So how, how will we direct customers to change those greedy, or that greedy? That is a good question. We can either provide them with the information on how to change their recordings, uh -huh. or we can create their recordings for us, or for ourselves. By ourselves. What do you think makes more sense? I mean, every customer that I've ever been to, they say, just create it for us. True, but would it be need to change the greeting, um, like, like Adam does, we have outages on the weekend. We're not available to do that for them on the weekend. They should have at least a simple knowledge of how to do it. Oh, and the problem with them, uh, we do it for them in the beginning, but if somebody's a deaf, you know, the owner died and they shut the entire plant down for, you know, and it's on the weekend, or whatever, for whatever reason they need to record it themselves for weather-related issues, or they should at least know how to do it. I agree. And I've been hearing more and more, more people I talk to, they're like, who is that? And they're talking about your, your yeah, I don't even know where that came from. So, yeah. Now, how, how do we go about, I mean, because like I see, I think edit extension one zero 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 six zero zero. Zero one, yeah. yep, zero one hundred. The reason that it says zero one hundred six hundred, um, zero one hundred is actually their group number. Um, yeah, you don't actually need to know that information, but server side that information has to exist. Okay, so so the the, the standalone voicemail has the instructions for setting and reading. So from it's their system in their office, they would dial six hundred. Yeah, to listen to it, just to listen. But to yeah. listen. change which it, they would, they would never, dial which they would, to, which they would never actually need to just dial and listen to the announcement. Okay. So from their office, they need to dial all nine digits, or all eight digits, or whatever that is, to change it. Seven. Yes. Yep. Can we program a button on their phone with that number? Could. Can we program the star key or whatever? You know? um, like a, like, or can we put a soft key? Like a, or make it a, we can do like a, we can do it as like a star application, where it's like star 65 or something like that. Mm. Do it that way. So but here, then we, but here, you're in a situation where they can have multiple recordings and how oh. you know which one to point oh, to. Oh, right. Well, see, um, that's, that's what I'm trying to understand because, yep. see, we have that virtual B, PBX um, brochure that I'm creating mm -hmm. as a start that would give every customer. I have it. Okay. Yeah, I can go get it. Well, so how, how do we, how do we, here's what I've been doing. I'll kick your head. Take less than an hour. But under tools, we can make a uh, print extension sheet where it just goes through the CRTs, finds all the extensions that exist for this customer, whether it's the extension for a ring group or an announcement or a recording or anything like that. It just sticks it all on one sheet that we can just hit print and hand to them. So then they know which one is set to what. So that way, in that sheet, it would say your main greeting announcement. At 600, the edit extension is just 0100, 600. So we can can we have, because this is not voicemail, these are greetings. Well, he, here's where it gets a little bit complicated is, like, see how we have record, see how we have a, uh, recordings, announcements, yeah. and IVRs? Yeah. I, it seems counterintuitive to have a recording and an announcement, but with recordings, it's literally just the recording. An announcement, is a record is a recording with a single destination afterwards. It plays a recording and it goes somewhere else. And I so announce it, announce it forward. That's what announcement is. Yeah. Yeah. And it can go anywhere. It can go to an extension. It can go to a ring group. It doesn't matter. It can go to another announcement. An IVR is similar to an announcement in the fact that it plays a recording, but then there's multiple destinations you can set. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. 
you have to create a recording to tie it to an announcement or an IDI. <clears throat> okay. So, so the recording like a greeting? It's well, you can record anything. anything. Or a message that Music. you would make. But it's not voicemail. Correct. Oh, it's right. not the voice. No, no this is, it literally just creates a wave file server side that your announce can, can use. Okay. Yeah, you can literally just go and swap. You can have a whole list of coatings and just swap off the extension that's going to yep. in the. Uh, and can it be like multiple recordings or one recording used on multiple announcements or? Yep. Okay. Yep, and then you can even tie them all together because of an announcement. If you created a new announcement. We could say, after we play this announcement, we could just tell it go to an announcement and choose another one from the So list. it's not just announce and forward, it's announce plus action. Yeah, announce plus any destination you want. It can be another announcement, it can be an IVR, it can okay. be a ring group, it can just hang up if you want. It That's be, pretty cool, actually. Yeah. And each feature has a what happens next. So for ring groups, notice we have one ring group of 300, which is everyone, and it shows their two extensions here. It says, if there's a not available function, it's voicemail, and the voicemail box is gonna be 2,000. Now, if nobody in that ring group answered, we could just, we could actually have it, if we made an announcement that said nobody's available to grab your call, we could actually switch this to an announcement to say, hey, nobody's available, and then that announcement, after it played that announcement, that announcement could have a destination of just hang up, or a voicemail voice box, or anything that exists here. So everything now has a destination afterwards. Okay. So you, so you can literally create a call flow of darn near anything. Well, like everything but recording. Recordings don't have a destination, right? right. They and are a destination. They, yeah, they, they literally, yeah, they, it's just a wave file. They can record it just a wave file. It's just a wave file. Just a wave file that you put in. The right. The recording has to be is just the recording. It gets tied to announcements or IDRs. Is it possible for the customer to add new recordings or no. just change existing ones? No. Not yet. Um, I would like to see us go in the direction of creating a uh, customer portal and giving them a little bit of functionality that they can work with, but at the same time, I don't want to create a situation. I'll, I'll be honest, I, I, I really have no desire to see that because I know the people that I'm selling this to and they will exactly. screw it up beyond belief. <laughs> These are people that can't access webmail. Yeah. Or they can't press dial on their phone. Yeah. Or they still use AOL. Yeah. I, yeah. You know what, I have no access to AOL. If we, if we give them a portal that only allows them to add recording, and they can only add like a maximum number of recordings, and then it won't let them do anything else. The problem is, is or change an existing recording. Well, then they'd have to be able to change them. We'd have to give them the ability to edit their announcements, because right. the announcement is act what actually plays the recording and then has a destination. Because the recording itself doesn't right. do anything. All we need to be able to do is have them be able to edit or update their recording, which there already is that ability to, to update. The, you can you can dial an extension, dial oh, that seven digit, that yeah, that, that extension, yeah. and you can update it. The problem is, is what I'm trying to understand is I've got this brochure that I'm leaving at that customer's desk, and it's a blanket brochure. Across. It's a blanket brochure. How do I tell them? Okay, you want to update your IVR oh. main recording, or you want to update your announcement okay. forward. So that's kind of how how do you do that? How so you know? I think we need to combine our ideas between that sheet and my idea of the uh, extension printout of all uh -huh. our extensions. If we combine it to where it printed out the uh, that, that sheet, but uh -huh. also with the specific instructions. So you're leaving them on the page. I'm leaving them the basic brochure, <coughs> and then you're leaving them their and their specific company extension sheet and their passcode. Well, I feel if you could print off a company extension report. Because mm -hmm. that's what purpose. they want to do now, yep. is they, 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 they make up their own mm -hmm. in Excel or whatever, and they put it off. If we have it, and yeah. we can give that to them, that would take less than an hour. Yeah. We could build that in less than an hour. Okay. I think that's the way. I'm, I'm slowly yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's a welcome start. packet. Well, yeah. we obviously have the welcome packet yeah. now. I mean, I, I, it's, a, it's a rough draft of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what I want to make sure of is that we get this, you know, because that's what they want to be able to do. It's like, well, I have a recording. How do I update this recording? 
you know, without calling you. Because some people, they'll be fine with just calling us. But if, it, if it's an after hours thing, mm -hmm. do you, uh, Brandon, do you have a customer that has called us and asked us about updating or Adam about updating a recording? Yeah, occasionally. Can you tell me? I have a common one is a dentist in Fort Wayne. The, oh, a dentist? At a house. Uh, oh, I oh, boy, has, yeah, that was last year, yeah. But I think he's good now to go on his own. Yeah, but but initially, was. yes, he was relying on us. Mm -hmm. To change it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I think now he's... For voicemail or for the read? Read. Read. Okay. Yeah, read. Yeah, that's all I've done is the read out. Okay. I, yeah. okay. I think he's okay. comfortable doing it on his own. He is not right now. Because that was in the, in the beginning, the fire, yeah. So I just want to make sure that I'm clear on this, that we're very, we're very much explaining the difference between voicemail, because the, what it, the, the title is, I took the information, Brandon, from the brochures that you gave, mm -hmm. you know, those old printouts? Right. What I'm trying to get rid of is so we don't have those printouts anymore. Mm -hmm. We basically have a generic brochure. brochure that I can order in quantities of 5,000 and be done forever. It, it's setting up voicemail. These are the instructions for that. Then I have a placing a call, setting up an IVR, call parking, announcing forward, and then I have troubleshooting. So what it sounds like is I'm going to need to add is a edit your custom recordings. Edit your greeting. Edit your greeting. Well, is that going to get confused with voicemail? Yeah, yeah and what if they're in with a larger what? company that has six or seven announcements, depending on which right. which number you're which calling. Did they, yeah. Which yeah, did yeah, they have different bids that have right. This bid for HR, this bid for you know, accounting, this bid for... So how do I, what do I name that? What do we call that as a company? That's great. Because if we're, if we're here trying to figure that out, our customers don't oh, yeah. even know yeah. how to communicate that to us. If you, if you boil it down to the lowest common denominator in a brochure, yeah. and then for custom setup, you can say, okay, here's what you can do yourself. Here's what you need to contact us for. Right, but you don't want to, in a brochure, I would just put uh, your initial call greeting, and just make sure it's word, and then for the voicemail, Unanswered voicemail, unanswered call voicemail, something of that nature. So they understand that the initial greeting is the initial greeting, and unanswered voicemail, unattended voicemail, or whatever, how you want to word it. So they understand that they, they're if, if we say greeting, is the average person going to know the difference well, between voicemail and greeting? Well, I would say if I'm voicemail greeting, then our job. Job. main call in greeting. Yeah. If we've done our job and Training them when we install the phone, but here's the, here's your initial reading, here's how you change it. The first, you know, you walk into the pamphlet, you know, they should understand, you know, not to have told them and shown them, well, they'd know, but at least when you talk to them on the phone, say, did Ben show you how to change your reading? And then pull the paper. And and would, oh, yeah, I remember that. Well, and would it be good well, to just like that? Instead of just uh, print out of extensions, it also showed a picture of their call flow. So it showed all their bids at the top, and then shows which announcement it's going to with the how would you, How would you print that? Yeah. And like video yeah. chart or something? How would I create the page to print? Yeah, what would the... Because to print it, it's, it's, like, it's yeah. control P. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I have an ear inch. <laughs> oh. Nice. Uh, no, but I, I mean, you know, it's so, um, it, programmatically, it'll take a little bit of... And I, I just don't understand if that's going to be possible. useful. I, I look at exactly. customers that have it, mm -hmm. and if I were handing them... Well, I'm not the best person to for, ask a customer. It may not be as much yes. useful for the customer, as a, well, but it would increase our internal. I mean, are we... Are we when Amazon is showing to the a customer, they said, well, it'll, all you have to do is print that out, you can see where everything's going immediately. As opposed to trying to troubleshoot, why isn't this phone call reaching this um, message, or why is it called for incorrectly? You'll see. You see, that's what that's what makes me scared about giving them their pins to be yeah. able to printing out that stuff. Because let's say, for oh. example, somebody prints this out, mm -hmm. and we give that to the customer, and they have a secretary or something like that, or a, or an admin that comes in and fills in two days a week, and she doesn't like the way her voicemail set up. Well, what she's going to do is she doesn't know the difference between her voicemail and extension 600. Mm -hmm. So she says, edit extension. Okay, so zero, 01, zero, zero, 06, zero. and so now instead of the main company greeting being called, it's now her voicemail. It's now her voicemail. Troubleshoot that. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, Do you see how dangerous this could be? Yeah, yeah. because on our end, if we call it to us, it would, if we were just listening, it would appear that that call went directly to her voicemail. Right. It would seem so like then, and then we think that there's something wrong with the flow the flow yeah. chopping. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that flow chopping would help more help in terms yeah. of troubleshooting. Yeah. 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 I think what Jake's talking about is you could go into the CRT then with that function and print it out immediately and see what is the current. I agree. Code. I agree. Let's, 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 let's step. Let's step. Let's step back. Yeah. I, I think that that's a great solution. Yeah. But, but it's there's still there's still no surefire way to keep a customer from dorking up their own. Deployment. That's exactly right. So what if we say if you we treat it as a one off? If they want to edit it, we teach them how to edit it. But we're not responsible. But we're not going to blanket give them everybody that information. Do we, need right. to un do we need to undo your last set of changes feature? No. Or, or do you want to just... So well, that's the default from our particular... Well, because if we don't even educate them on how to edit all or change all of their greetings, right. we only teach them how to edit the one if they ask. And yeah, this is a, be a, yeah. a scary thing to let a customer... Well, that's exactly right. That's why I'm, I'm definitely afraid of a backend. <coughs> and, then, and then on, on my side, when they call me and they say, uh, Tammy Sue's voicemail is playing as the main com company greeting, how do I quickly change that from from where I'm at? Can I record a greeting and yeah. upload it well, yeah, myself? Fine, that greeting still exists in the call record. So I just need to go into their uh, recordings exactly. and, and just flip it back. back. Well, yeah. If exactly. they're calling <clears throat> that, if, if they're dialing an extension of that recording and changing it, the old file is not going to be there anymore, right? Mm -hmm. That's at the end. It's going to replace the only, I, the only thing they're going to have the ability to do is edit the current call message, right? So, or. Well, maybe so that's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm thinking is if we function. actually just stayed in here that says if you would like to uh, re have the ability to record your own greetings, you know, or, or I, I come up with some language right. for right. that. Right. Yeah. Please shoot us an email. Mm -hmm. We'll send you the, the, the information to change these greetings locally right. yourself. Right. If they don't yes. ask for it, we don't <laughs> <particularly> <laughs> ask for it. If you ask for it, and then you understand that if you do ask for this and there's some sort of mistake or, you know, how it, do it doesn't matter. They're going to just call us anyway, and it's going to be frantic. Help yeah. me. They're, they're going to call anyway. <laughs> and that's where I think that we have to create the, the wiki guidelines for us mm -hmm. yeah. that we give them the ability to edit the greeting that they want and only that greeting. Mm -hmm. If they have a bunch, we just give them the ability to change the one. Could it be that they have a plan right now? Correct. <laughs> Which in most cases, to be true honest, is probably going to be an IVR. Right. For well, a lot like, of you know, like for instance, like in the case, like dentist office with a doctor office, mm -hmm. they're gonna change their hours. You know, or make the concern so all the doctors and surgery that we're not you know, they call outside and do hours or um, you know, like tenants of the store, but like Russell Product, their factory runs 24 7, they'll never 365, the same days, same day, yeah. same time every day. They'll, they'll, they'll never, Sue does not want the ability to change that green. Well, because Sue also knows she, her people internal cannot do that. Right. She's right. smart enough, I mean, she's yeah. smart enough lady that she knows that it's not possible. Yeah, I agree. So, okay, so the, the guidance that I'll write on here is basically that says if you'd like the ability to change any of your greetings remotely, Please get with us, mm -hmm. and we'll give you the instructions on how to do that. Okay, that's it. Who in this room is going to be tasked with tasked with writing the wiki on how we're going to give those instructions? Well, I, I guess once the instructions are on how to do it, you know, I don't know if you have that already done in the wiki, but once that's done, it would be easier to determine. What, I, what I'm trying to say is we, we got to have something that we can then send the customer. It looks like it's partially See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. He's already got the instructions on how to do it. Yep. Yeah. Right. But there's the recordings. But they need the they need instructions typed up that we're now sending to them. Oh, customer friendly. Yeah. Yeah. Customer friendly directions. Adam, are you capable of doing that? Yeah, if it's already in the wiki, I can I can re reformat it for a customer. Yeah, okay. we'll go over it together. Okay. Yeah, that'd be so good. So an action item out of this yeah. is Adam is going to create a, a customer friendly mm -hmm. uh, language right. that we can send to the customer if they want to record a greeting or if they want to edit a greeting right. that's already created. And we're, and we're not going greetings. to send them other stuff. Correct. Yeah. More right. than what they have. Yeah. 
So, no, so Jay, honestly, I don't think that you should create a print button. Cool. I think that that's going to be more dangerous cool. than creating it. I like that because it pumps this work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get more. Drink. Does anybody else need more drink? Or I'm good. good. Thanks. And we're only talking about readings, not voicemails, not other recordings. Only their readings. Yeah. This is this will be. Yeah. yeah. I imagine voicemail will be in the same way. And that should go to, any, no. I, then I think it should go to order at the oh. Indiana Telephone yeah. Network. Yeah, that's and then if Brandon wants to create what Right, because this falls under provisioning, does it not? Yeah. Right. Well, and I just think if we have one central point. That's where I, mean? I, that's on this <coughs> thing. Brandon, you've already looked over this. Have you looked over I'm this? Not. I'm not. Okay. Now, this falls under provisioning, right, Melanie? Yes. Mm -hmm. But if the customer needs a greeting recorded, they're going to call and they're going to get me first, right. and I'll say I'll put in a ticket with provisioning, yeah. right? How how quickly of a turnaround are we looking at on this? I Maybe this change now. <laughs> that is, so that's the key. If if it needs to be done right now, yeah. just reach out to me. If I'm working on billing stuff, uh -huh. I'm not even look at provisioning stuff and try right. to switch right. modes and okay. something else. Right. I get, if I start going billing, I'm guessing if they want a greetings yeah, change, it's going to yeah. usually be immediately. I have a completed but untested version of the recordings module. That when you hit add new recording, it has a checkbox that you can hit where you can type in a message and then it text to speeches into a WAV file. Oh. Um, so if that's something that we can actually go live with, if people want and it's been untested, would customers want it, that? So I don't. No, they it. they usually want their own voice because they, they want to apply their own emotions to it. Right. Cool. And they don't even even want us to do it usually. Well, that, and that's the problem with me. No, if they just want to change it to be my voice and be done with it. Well, you right. would be able to. But you don't have. But if you were able to give them, if you, at that point in time, let's say they reach out to you and say, "Hey, I want to be able to change my voicemail," mm -hmm. and that's where you say, "Would you like us to change it?" Reading or voicemail. Reading. Reading. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a problem. Yeah. yeah. So okay, so if if I want to change this read, mm -hmm. and you say, "Okay, would you like us to do it?" If you want us to do it, I'll send a ticket in. Yeah, it'll be done. You know, within 24 hours. 24 yeah. hours or so, yeah. roughly. If you want, if you want, I can give you the ability to do it right now. Would you like that? If they do, you see that read them the, the customer friendly directions that yeah. you created. Right. And then at that point, time is done. Right. There's no reason to involve another person. See, like that's what I was just going to say. Like, <laughs> I, this is where we have departments here, but if you're capable and have access yeah. to the information. Because all he's doing is he's just copying and pasting and giving that information to the customer. Well, the thing is that works great if there's no outages. If they have an internal outage and they have no internet and they lost their phone control, they're calling us from their cell phone. Can they do this from their yeah, cell phone? Yeah. yeah, all they gotta do is call in and call no, the number they in. they can't do it from their cell phone. No? Uh -huh. <clears throat> no you can't press star 99 like you do that, right? I thought well, from a cell phone you dial the number and you hit star. This is what was not their main reading. Oh, their PBS or something. How many players? As the same starts to play, hit star 99. It goes into edit mode. You're able to edit your uh, reading right there on the fly. As if you want to record this message, press 1. You press 1 and it goes add to the beat. Start recording your message. And you press on at the end. I was just trying to think because that, 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 that work or not? Okay, it should. What is it you were asking? Right? What about if, as part of the sales process, if you just say, okay, here's a list of the messages that you will need. Your voicemail. The problem, the problem is every person is be different. Yeah. Well, but you can boil it down to like a standard list of the basic stuff, and if they want to go custom, that's, that would be addressed on a per situation basis. If you, they need their voicemails for each extension. They need their announcement for the main call in. Mm -hmm. And they need like an emergency announcement if the system is down. Like if their internet connection goes down. Right. They, we can, they can Which call us from the cell phone and say, hey, can you put our emergency announcement on? Because we're our. Yeah, we're gonna gonna call call but, but technically, that, that would already be done. I mean, if, 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 if their internet is down, What's going to happen is, it's, and it's transferring to an extension, it's going to act like the extension is not there and go to voicemail or whatever right. voicemail, yeah, whatever the next, whatever whatever the next step, step is. But the greeting, okay. the greeting so won't, won't change, matter. though. Huh? The, the greeting would not have changed. The greeting won't change. Okay. And there's really no reason for the greeting. No, but it's not going to reach it anyway. Right. That's what you're saying. No, it'll reach the greeting. 
Okay, so the, the caller so will hear the greeting. The caller will hear the greeting, and they won't even, the caller will not know that their internet is down. Okay. So so the right guy call they just think that somebody didn't answer the phone. Yeah. We can also have a generic message ready to go for anyone who calls in and says, our internet's down, we would like a message put up. We can have a generic message that says, well, you can do as many generic recordings as you want. Just, yeah. You know, then Adam or myself, all I have to do is switch the reading point. Yeah, if it's an emergency, I can just go in and. I, I think the more things that they're, they're going to want to edit is something like Abbott House. Mm -hmm. The hours. The hours. The hours. 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 That's more of what we're talking about. Right. I don't yeah. think that can go on their voicemail greeting. Right? What's that? That can go on their voicemail greeting or on the announcement. So it's only two different recordings that they have to change possibly. Yeah, but, but probably just one of those. Yeah. You see places like Russell Products, they may not do it, but let's say they got a nasty snowstorm, you know, five feet of snow and they're closed, the boys are calling in all the time, there's no one there to answer the phones, and they may want to change the greeting, hey, we're closed due to the weather. Yeah. Which, would they would have to be there and on site to do. Correct. Which most times, most there families where somebody's there first, makes the answer to the first few phone calls or puts up a sign <laughs> Yeah, basically they have to change the greeting unless they're not cycling. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And we did that, we, I, go ahead. I did that intentionally for the sake of security. Yeah. Yeah. They have to be inside the customer's context to change their recordings. That's the same situation where I can't change anything on the DPI, IVR, unless I'm here. I don't know if it would be a good idea network. to let these, their, a company's announcement greeting get with the old yeah. side, yeah. Yeah. Star nine nine, and it goes into the editing mode. So, <clears throat> with this new system, um, from my VPBX phone at home, I won't be able to dial up and into a customer's extension group anymore, right? Not right now, but we're adding. Um, we're we're going to have to add that feature. We've already created the method server side. That's why we have weird numbers like this that you'll see pop up occasionally. That does. Because then I can. Yeah. If, if Russell is closed for right. some reason, I can go in from my phone and change Which whatever that, they need. That's, that's the end goal that we're yeah. going for. Yeah. So you'll be able to change. You have to, you have to generate a way to enter your phone and enter the context. Yep. So that can Notice a backdoor. Oh, here, where we yeah, say you'll have a backdoor. Stolte Law, they were the first one added. Notice their group number is 0100. Yeah. Um, server side, uh, it's already set up. So if you were to dial 0100, and then any of their extensions, it'll go right there. Even oh, so I can dial 0100, 600. Yeah, from yeah. a separate context. But you have to be on this server. Oh. I just have, I still will have to create a trunk from the server that you're on over to here that says anything that's start, that prepends. Yeah. We'll probably have like a dial out number of four. Like currently yeah. there's like five for ITN, seven for Benson. Right. We'll have one that's like four. And when you hit four, you can then hit that seven digit where it's just the group number followed by an extension number, right? And it'll dial into their contract. Does that make sense? Yeah. We just haven't added the trunk yet over to it. But if you were already on the box, your traffic, you could hit any context just by adding that group number. 